One more thing you can do too is include them in times when they have the kids and times when they don't have the kids because they can start to feel like their life is bifurcated, right? They're two parts. They're them with children, like mom, I'm thinking of my own self, like mom Hannah versus newly single um, on her own Hannah. Those two people, it's hard to get them on the same page, right? Because especially if you've been married for a while, I was married like nine years, I guess, when I got divorced, like becoming, coming to grips with these two realities being one person was rough. And I remember appreciating so much people who like, when I had my kids, we could hang with their kids, we would do crafts, do stuff like that. And then also they would include me when I didn't have my kids, even if they were having family dinner, like asking, did I want to join? Or other single friends, now that I kind of could like go to dinner at 10 o'clock at night, inviting me to do that part two and having patience with them as they reform this new identity. Um, it could be frustrating, I think, to be on the receiving end. I'm sure it was when people were friends with me and I had some really great friends in that process because I was reshaping everything about who I was and to be there to observe that when like the Hannah they knew in the beginning and the Hannah in the middle and the Hannah on the other side, those three people have, you know, don't have all that much in common and that's a lot to go through. But if you, if you can be there and show up and keep showing up, that person, when they're on the other side, even years later, will remember it with such gratitude and such fondness and such appreciation that I guarantee you it's worth it. 